electronic configuration of copper now that is the favorite question for all kinds of examination and if i get a dime for every time a student actually got this question incorrect now what is so typical about this electronic configuration of copper it appears so inconspicuous it is some of one of the normal uh, elements that we find and that's that's part of the reason why get students get stumped on this question so it is in the fourth period so we are filling the 4s orbital that gets filled up till calcium so after that we are now filling the 3d orbitals so 3d from scandium onwards we are filling the 3d orbitals and that, that is all of that those things are normal you already know that and we come to nickel uh, which has 3d 8 and then we have of course the 4s orbital is completely filled so this is the configuration of nickel now going by this if you go by just by the periodic table the copper should have an electronic configuration of argon okay and then there should be 4s2 and on top of nickel there would be an extra electron so we would get to 3d9 now you would write this <laughs> as answer and it would be unfortunately completely wrong okay so this is not although according to periodic table that is what it suggests this is not the electronic configuration of copper in the case of copper one electron actually jumps from this fully filled 4s subshell to the to the 3d subshell and makes it fully filled okay so the electronic configuration is 4s1 okay that is the thing here 3d10 so we have made the 4s orbital 4s subshell half filled and in the copper we have made the 3 3d subshell uh, fully filled now what is the additional benefit that we are getting in making the 3d orbital why does uh, this electron jump from the 4s orbital to 3d orbital at all right it was already in a fully filled uh, subshell so what is the additional benefit it is getting if it jumped from uh, to the uh, 3d subshell and the answer is reduction in energy that is always the answer but the reduction in energy in the 3d subshell comes because of exchange energy now exchange energy we have already taken a class on that what is exchange energy see look at this electron electronic config uh, look at the electrons right here in the 3d subshell there are five up electrons and five down electrons when it is completely full those five electrons can exchange among themselves which will cause a reduction in their energies and that is that reduction comes because of exchange energy and we have already seen that in our class in the case that exchange that exchange energy is completely missing in the case of 4s orbital in the case of 4s orbital because there is only one electron of each spin up and down there is no reduction due to exchange whereas in the case of that 3d orbital there is a very large right because you can exchange with five other electrons that is a very large a reduction due to this and a reduction in energy due to this exchange and that is why that 4s orbit uh, 4s electron jumps from the 4s orbital and goes to the 3d orbital and it stays there and makes it fully filled 3d10 and remember that that is the electronic configuration of copper very 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 important okay well that is the first thing now in this class we will also study what about the what about the copper ions now what are all the kinds of ions uh, that the copper actually forms so the very first ion that the copper forms which is very very natural is that it will give away this one 4s electron and it will make the cu plus ion that is a very common valency for copper the most common cu plus the next common energy is that it gives it loses that extra 3d electron also so it becomes argon 3d9 and then forms the cu 2 plus ion the 2 plus ion also is very common valency for copper so what are the common valencies for copper cu plus and uh, cu plus 2 that is cuprous and cupric respectively okay so those are the common valencies copper also has two rare valencies that is plus 3 and plus 4 uh, which it forms of course by losing more and more electrons from its 
थ्री डी सबशेल ओके सो होपफुली थिंग्स आर वेरी वेरी क्लियर इन टर्म्स ऑफ कॉपर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ योर एग्जाम्स थैंक यू